So hi guys, how it's going? Darko from TV Calibration with Darko here, showing you settings after calibration on Samsung 50-inch JU6872, that's new series 6800 in Samsung's lineup this year, featuring VA panel with LED backlight, but this is a special backlight powered by Quantum Dot technology. So this TV can display more colors than Rec. 709 specifies. Precisely I've done this measurement, it covers around 87%, which makes it in line with LG's EC OLED series, but 5% short from SUHD models like uh, JS9502 that I reviewed previously. So let's see menus, I'll just say that calibration was really easy on this model, thanks to really responsive controls. You get these different presets, standard, natural, dynamic I don't like to mention because look at this picture, I mean, everything blown out. Natural is similar to standard and movie which is okay by default but there is too much blue when I checked white balance. So I'll show you what I did. Backlight set at 14 gives around 200 nits of peak brightness, I think that's more than enough without making image look a bit dull and not interesting. Contrast and brightness at default values, sharpness, I recommend you decrease it from 20 to 10 or below. You can of course increase it if you want more artificially sharpened picture. Color default value, tint default. Now going to advanced settings, where you see dynamic contrast off, black tone off, flash tone at zero, RGB only mode, this is used during calibration, it's off. Uh, color space custom, I'll show you now values. So let's start with primary color red, green, blue, now secondary colors yellow, cyan and magenta. This gives around 97% coverage of Rec. 709, unfortunately I couldn't make red as saturated as I wanted because it seems that panel itself is limited in this regard. I also couldn't reduce blue component because by default as I will show you, blue is at zero, so I cannot reduce it anymore in order to move red towards reference position. But okay, overall really nice result. White balance, as usual, two point and ten point, you see here tweaks, so mostly in high level blue, so in bright areas blue is reduced. And I wanted to even out all details, so now I will show you going from 100% down what I did for 10 point white balance control. Okay, gamma plus one, which gives gamma of 2.2 characteristic, really smooth, I was really impressed by the performance of this TV. Now picture options, here you see color tone warm too, digital clean view off, same goes for MPEG noise filter, HDMI UHD color at default value. Fill mode is enabled only for interlaced signals. Auto motion plus, so this is option for playing with soap opera effect and also improving motion resolution. You have different, you have different options, standard, smooth and custom. In custom you can increase or turn off soap opera effect. I don't like it when I watch movies. And if you want more details in moving objects, so higher motion resolution, then you have to turn on LED clear motion. But side effect is introduced flickering. I can say 
that what you see on screen is much worse than reality but still you can see especially in bright whites this flickering which can be quite distracting so i like to turn it off because you will also lose about 50 percent of brightness of the picture i don't like it so the only option for me is this combination or completely turning this option off And that's it, this TV does not offer smart LED local dimming, so you are bound with contrast of around 3000 to 1, which gives solid picture quality, but as usual with VA panels, this contrast is decreased when viewing picture under angle. So this is a good TV, especially after calibration, great for movies. But if you are considering different viewing positions, then I recommend LG's IPS models or ideal case is LG's OLED TV. Thanks for watching, you can leave me comment, questions, whatever you want in comment section and see you in some other video. Bye!